gray. What's this? everyone I hope you're all doing well today is a Thursday I can't believe we've woken up to more snow I don't think I've ever known us to have this much snow in my 33 years actually that's a total lie we had loads of snow when I was younger but in like recent years we have like the odd snow day here and there whereas this is like the sixth day of snow I reckon yesterday there was no snow and then we woke up with thick snow it looks very pretty and very bright and Grey loves it I've got quite a busy day today um quite a fun day like a creative day which is one of my favorites i've got a long list of things to do and i'm hoping to kind of vlog alongside all of those things and show you guys what i'm getting up to and i've got some cool stuff to show you in today's video i'm still loving the giorgio armani neo nude foundation i've actually almost finished this tube i'm kind of in between shades at the moment how have you guys been how are you getting on um i think we're at kind of a weird stage now everyone's getting a little bit fed up a little bit bored maybe i'm hoping today's video can provide you with a little bit of light entertainment a little bit of an escape maybe i am in such desperate need for my for an eyebrow thread like they are so bad i'm just so bad at plucking my own eyebrows and also does anyone else find that when you pluck your eyebrows i sneeze like with every pluck every single hair makes me sneeze it's so annoying i don't understand why i'm gonna be filming a couple of reels today um how do you guys feel about reels it's really funny because i feel like people are either really into them or really hate them. I'm really into them. I find myself just literally scrolling reels all the time. I think it depends how long you watch a reel um, as to what you get served. So if you watch through like an entire hair reel, they'll start serving you lots of other hair reels. So that's how you can kind of trick the algorithm if you want to watch certain things. I just think they're really fun. Like I think I prefer video content to photos. I definitely prefer making video content to taking um, stills. So I've really been enjoying like experimenting, trying to get a little creative with them, but I don't know. I think a lot of people really don't like them. So I'm gonna try and do some today and I'll show you like the behind the scenes of that. But I can hear Rich and Grey leaving. I have to go give her a kiss goodbye. I'm really superstitious about that. Oh, so cute. She like gives me a big kiss goodbye and she's like, bye. I've been wanting to show you guys some new bits um, we got for our bathroom. I'm trying to kind of like finish it off a bit, like warm it up a little bit because since we actually did the bathroom, we haven't really like, I guess added any like personality into it. I'll show you what I mean. I got a few bits from Zara Home, which is so good at the moment. Okay, the first thing is a bath mat from La Redoute. It's actually quite similar to the rug in our bedroom. It's nice and fluffy. It's quite like warm. I think it does actually clash a little bit with the grey tiles, but I like it. Um, grey likes it. That's all that matters. And then over here in this little corner, I really wanted a nice wooden tray. It was actually quite hard to find, but I found this one on Zara Home. It comes in a couple of sizes and it fits perfectly. So I just thought that's really nice, like with the marble and with the tiles. I think it goes really nicely in this little corner. This we already had from West Elm and I want to get some fresh eucalyptus. We had some fake eucalyptus, but I want to get fresh eucalyptus and then hopefully when we shower it will let off a really nice smell this is a really nice little um soap dish again from zara home and uh this was a shower spray that i got in my recent haul and then i've just got some matches there uh for some candles so this just kind of needs finishing off but i really like how that looks in the corner there when we did the bathroom i remember asking this is the boiler cupboard and i remember asking instead of it going all the way down can we have this section open to have like you know plants and nice bits and then like i said we just never really got round to it so i'm starting to kind of finish off this area i actually want to get a little print that we can lean on the back there i really like the kind of layered look with lots of different things this plant is real and this 
really lovely pot is from Prick London, which is a really nice small business if you guys want to check it out. Uh, this is a cactus, also real, and this plant is fake. This is from Ikea, I think, and then this little wooden pot is from H&M Home. We've got Aesop poo drops, a little candle, all of these cow shed bath and shower gels, which is just so indulgent. This is my recent lockdown purchase. It's so over the top, I know, but it makes me feel like my bathroom is a hotel and I love cow shed so much. You guys know I do, and these will last for so long. And I love, you can just like pick whatever scent like you want. There's active, indulge, cozy, awake, replenish, balance. And you can just like grab the one you want for your shower. Absolutely love those. So yeah, I think like a little print at the back would look nice, maybe a little trinket tray. And then I'm pretty much done with this little shelf over here. This little shelving area as well just becomes a bit of a dumping ground, but I think it's okay at the moment. This is fake from Ikea. I just find in bathrooms because they get so hot, it's hard to keep real plants alive. I think this one does look a little bit fake though, so I might have to change it. We just got some bath oils and bath salts. This is what we keep Grey's bubble bath in. That's for my hair. And then we've got some flannels in there for Grey, body scrub. I love these tiles. These are like one of my favorite things in the house. I'm so happy with these. I love the like irregular shape of them. So like they're not perfectly even. I think I'm gonna use this opportunity whilst Rich and Grey are out to shoot a reel because I like, actually will I do it upstairs or downstairs? Either way, like it's much easier um, when the house is empty. And I think I'm gonna do a fashion reel. I haven't really done one of those for a while, but I haven't really planned it out, which is like the worst thing. They work so much better when I literally like storyboard them. I think the idea is I'm gonna do like a what I would wear if, so like, what would I wear if I was going to work meetings? What would I wear if I was going on play dates? What would I wear if I was going on like a date night? And what would I wear if I was going out for brunch on the weekend? I just haven't really thought about the transitions. Like I feel like it would be cool maybe if I was going like in and out of my wardrobe and every time I came out, I was in like a new outfit. Or I do the one where you like throw the clothes on you and then they're just on. I'm gonna get my tripod out and see how it looks in this little corner here. Um, and then if that looks good, I'll just film it up here. So let me show you how I make a reel. Okay, so the front facing camera on the iPhone is really bad quality. Actually, if anyone has the new iPhone, please let me know if it's any better. So I'm gonna have to film it this way around, but obviously I haven't got anyone here to help. So I'm gonna kind of do a little test. I'm gonna go over there, stand there, do a little test, come back and have a look and see how the framing is. This is so funny. Okay, so I can see that it's kind of cutting off my feet a little bit. So um, I just need to kind of lower it and get it into the right position. Okay, I've laid out some outfit ideas, but I'm kind of gonna wing it as I go and just try stuff on. I've got like date night, work, meeting, brunch, play date. I put up a load of uh, coats as options. I've got some shoes down here to pick from. I've got a few hats over here. I've got some Missima jewelry and actually I need to get some handbags out as well. It's 10 to 10 now. So I'm hoping this doesn't take more than two hours aiming to be done by 12. Okay, so the idea is that I go into the wardrobe and then when I come out, I'm in a different outfit. But to make that transition, I need to like get as far into the wardrobe as possible and, and do the same with the next outfit. So I'm gonna have to go like this and then keep the door exactly as it is and like creep out. Let's give it a go. I'm just gonna set my phone on timer. Okay, outfit number one, this very, very happy jumper from Hush um, and this coat from Zara, some jeans, trainers. This is like the weekend brunch, casual, comfy look. Also, I'm wearing a hat. So now I need to start in the wardrobe <laughs> and come out, if that makes sense. This is actually going quite well, much faster than I thought. Um, I'm. This is my, uh, if I was going on a play date outfit. So I've got two more to do. Um, and it's, it's only 20 past 10. I think I'm gonna smash this. Okay, work meeting outfit. This is where I start putting on some jewelry. 
This video is actually sponsored by Missima, guys, and I'm going to be talking to you about these absolute beaut of an earring later in this video. I'm so obsessed. Oh, yes. I'm really bad at putting on earrings without looking in the mirror. Did it, though. Okay, outfit number three. Shirt, black skinnies, and I'm going to put on my new Hush boots. I haven't actually been able to wear these out yet because, you know, lockdown, but I love them. Okay, I've done doing the main clips. I just kind of went with the first take. I feel like they're not the most flattering of me. The camera's slightly tilting down, which just doesn't really like elongate my body. But whenever this happens, I feel like I should just leave it as it is because anyone watching, like I want people to feel good about themselves. Um, so me showing myself in a slightly unflattering angle, I think is quite a good thing. Um, I'm gonna show you the video. I can't show you with sound because um, of copyright music on YouTube, but it's set to Beyonce love on top. On Instagram reels, it's really confusing, but you can use like normal music when it's not an ad. But if it's an ad, you have to use like royalty free music, which means like not fun music. Okay, so this is the reel before I add text to it. If you haven't yet seen it on Instagram, please head over and give it a like. I would really appreciate that. Um, yeah, it's fun. I love that hush jumper so much. Also, I haven't worn these dungarees in ages. They, it's made me miss them. This is the post shoot mess. Normally I would leave this and come back to it later and then really regret it and just be so annoyed that I didn't clean it up before. So I'm gonna force myself to do it now. And then at least I know it's just done. <laughs> There's a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown I've put the really nice hush jumper um, back on and I've got tracksuit bottoms on the bottom because that's like Zoom life, isn't it? But I thought I would make myself presentable um, in the top half. So I've got this really nice like happy jumper on. I actually love it. Do you guys like seeing me in color? I I'm into it. I always like sway more towards wearing blacks and greys because and whites because when I see like really stylish people wearing that, I think, oh my God, I want to I look like that. It's so stylish. But then also I think, you only live once, why not wear some happy colours sometimes? So the earrings that I showed you earlier, these, these are the Missima Chubby Hoops and it's their icon piece for the season. So they have like one piece that they kind of champion for each season and this is this season's pick and I'm so obsessed with them. I love them. It's exactly what I look for in an earring because they're kind of stylish, slightly statement, but then they're also just so easy to wear every day. They're very lightweight, which I like. I hate it when earrings like drag your earlobe down. So they're very light. I just, oh my God, look at them. I think they're absolutely perfect and I've just been loving wearing them recently. Also, I feel like with this sort of earring, you could wear it like during the day. You know, I could wear these with grey and they wouldn't like get in the way. So if I was just having like a casual day, they would look nice. But then you could also just wear these, like if you're going out and it's like slightly more of a smarter look. I know it sounds ridiculous saying going out at the moment, but one day we will be able to go out again. So you might as well invest in jewellery for like more longer term. So they'd look really nice for like a smarter outfit as well. But they're under a hundred pounds, which I think is amazing. And also I think because they're not so like over the top, you can wear them with other jewellery. I've just got a couple of their more like simple necklaces on with them. I love just their like simple chains. So what do you think? I really, really like them. Sorry if the camera's a little bit shaky. I just wanted to like turn towards the light so you could properly see them. Let me put you down here. I know we're all at home at the moment, but I think a lot of us are doing things like Zoom calls. And for me, it just makes me feel confident. It makes me feel better when I just like make myself look nice. It makes me feel good. So, you know, having a nice jumper on, doing my makeup, doing my hair and popping on some earrings feels special. 
I'll leave a link for these earrings down in the description box if you want to take a closer look. Look how cool this is. My parents gave this to me. This used to hang in my like childhood bedroom when I was really little. It's a Norman Rockwell print of the little girl and the boy walking with their dog. And my parents gave it to me, so I'm going to hang it in um, Grey's bedroom, the little room. I want to redo that room slightly. I might repaint it, I'm not sure, but I definitely want to add some curtains and add like a little reading corner, like a little nook, add more like textures and a bit more warmth to that room as well. I have some nice ideas, I just need to like get around to doing it, but I think this would be really lovely addition to that room i think mixed with some like modern prints it will kind of mix like old and new which i think would look really nice obviously gray won't be in this room forever so anything we do to it will be something that will be suitable like if we were to have another baby basically so nothing that's like over the top girly i wouldn't do that anyway but you know what i mean like i wouldn't want to be wasteful with it this is gray's room now we've got a white wall here with these little stickers which come off if i wanted to and then the walls are painted in ammonite which i do like it just doesn't go with the carpet but i think i might keep the walls it's obviously a lot easier we've moved things around so her cot is now here and the dress is there which i know looks a bit strange but it's freed up so much space in the room like we never had this much space before. So if we have another baby, it'll be really great to have a feeding chair, which we couldn't really fit before the other layout. And for now it's really cute little like reading corner in the evening. She like sits on this bean bag, but it just needs some warmth. These shelves, I think probably should have been maybe here or here, but they were so hard to get up that I think if we take them off, we'll never be able to put them up again. So they're staying there for now. So I definitely want to add some curtains. I think either side of the window will be really nice. I want to move the bookshelves and put them somewhere lower down so that Grey can get to them. And I want to change the prints. I think this wall, because it's, it's actually quite dangerous now to have prints over the cot, so I would probably paint something on this wall so that it's, there's something going on, but it doesn't have to be things that have to be hung. So I'd paint something on this wall and then I'd probably put prints over here. And then I really want to get one of those um, hanging things, but they're quite expensive. And I'm thinking that maybe I could just do it myself and like hang a sheet. I need to see if I can find a DIY and then have like a little cute bean bag that eventually could be a chair. I'd also like to get a big rug. So that's kind of what I'm planning for this room. Curtains, I need to do. I just keep not getting around to it. Oh my God, it's weird that you can see me there. Okay, the next thing I need to do on my to-do list, I've just sat down on my computer and I've caught up with my Trello, which is like where I keep all my like job related stuff. So nothing editorial, but anything to do with working with brands. Um, and I've got a job coming up with Gordon's Gin and I've just had some feedback from it. So I'll create all the content, I'll send it to the brand. And then sometimes they have like tweaks to the caption and stuff like sometimes it's often just like a legal thing on how I need to phrase things especially this one because it's about like an alcohol free drink so I'm gonna go through and change that annoyingly with stories once you've created the text on a story you can't edit it so I have to start those again oh my god did you hear that our neighbors are having a massive argument but like I think her bedroom and my office are like right next to each other. She's screaming. I'm so, so proud of this content. So I really want to get it right. And I'm really excited to post it. I just remembered that today is Thursday, which means there's a new podcast episode up. So I need to hop onto Instagram stories and remind you guys that the new episode is there so that everyone can swipe up and take a listen. Morning guys, it's Thursday. Oh my God, it's not morning, it's 12 o'clock. Afternoon guys, it's Thursday, which means there's a new podcast episode. I made myself a bagel. I eat bagels every day for lunch, which probably isn't great, but it's just quick and easy. And I just put whatever in it. I've got hummus, ham, pickle, spinach, and like leftover avocado that really probably was past its date to be eaten. But it looks yummy. I've got about 15 minutes. Um, I've got a Zoom call with Annabelle Kingsley. I'm very excited about this. It's a uh, Philip Kingsley company. It's his... Is it his daughter or his granddaughter? I don't actually know. I'll find out. But they offered to do a Zoom consultation with me about my hair. And it's actually, the reason I like jumped at the chance is because my mum, after she had me, she suffered with really bad postpartum hair loss. 
and she went to the Philip Kingsley salon in Covent Garden. So this was in like late 80s and they helped her look after her hair. So I just thought it was so like full circle for me to do it. I had really amazing thick healthy hair when I was pregnant with Grey and then it a lot of it fell out afterwards which I didn't notice. I've never noticed my hair being thin but it's the regrowth that is really like driving me crazy. And I think my hair is just growing really slowly. The ends are obviously splitting. So I find that like the underneath, this is all regrowth. So it's at this like awkward length all the way around my hairline, like all the way around. And I'll just have like random bits sticking out but it's like thick so i feel like my hair is like totally different lengths like it's kind of thick up to there and then it's just like a bit straggly i love the philip kingsley products i use their itchy shampoo um and i think their products are great so i think she's gonna put me on like a new hair routine to really kind of get my hair back into a good condition and get it kind of growing a bit faster and not splitting at the ends and i'm very interested to see how this is gonna go i literally had to send them photos of like my scalp from like the top and the back and the sides and like give fill out like a detailed form on what my hair is like so it'll be really interesting to chat to her i think we're doing it on facetime i'm good thank you how are you i wouldn't be surprised because things like my skin after coming off the pill was crazy oh my gosh that was so interesting that was so good i loved it i learned so much um i'm actually gonna go for a blood test she wants me to go for a blood test to check my levels, my iron levels, my thyroid, like a few different things that can change after having a baby to check what's going on. Things like that really affect your hair. So that would be really interesting because sometimes when your hair regrows, it's not just like the breakage that's, it, that's the issue. Sometimes hair will stop growing at a certain length. We spoke about so many different interesting things. I really enjoyed that. She's actually Philip Kingsley's daughter. I haven't had any fresh air yet today. I don't go out ev every day. Like when I'm with Grey, I make sure we go out for our walk, but on work days, I find that I can't really squeeze it in. I should really but I just have so much that I need to pack into today. I'm feeling like I'm needing an afternoon snack though, so I might go downstairs soon and get some like chocolate or something. Oh, interestingly, she said not to use one of those like scalp brushes that everyone seems to be using at the moment. They're like, she's like, would you use that on your face? No, because it would be too harsh and it would hurt. She was like, treat your scalp like it's the skin on your face. You have to be gentle with it. Oh my gosh, guys, I've just come out of like a long afternoon computer hole. I think last time I spoke to you was like half two or something and it's now half five. I've been editing this vlog and just doing other stuff and it always gets to this time of day where I start to feel a bit panicky because I've got all like the admin-y side. I leave all the admin stuff to do when it's dark and I can't shoot anymore. So I need to get on with all of that. Um, oh, I'm just trying to like stretch my legs. I should really peloton tonight. Oh, it's really not in the mood, but I really should. <laughs> I think I'm going to end the vlog here because it's pretty long. I've just been editing it and I'm like past 20 minutes at this point. Plans for this weekend include making pancakes, shooting some content, going for walks. I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check the description box where I will leave links to the earrings, anything else that I mentioned. I feel like I've talked about a lot of things in this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.